that involves you, it's just not going to line up in your favor to hit the mega millions. Now, I have had a, a dream about numbers once in my life. And it just so happened that there was a brand new game here in Illinois. I happened to be back here from living in New York for a little while. I was back in Chicago and they had just come out with a, a lottery game called Little Lotto. And my mom was big on playing her lottery. And so she was heading out because the store was about to close that sold the tickets. And she said, quick, give me five numbers between one and 35 or whatever it was at the time. So those numbers were fresh in my head. So I wrote them down. I said, here you go. And then I snatched the paper back. I said, oh, wait a minute. And I changed one of the numbers. Okay. I changed one of the numbers. And she took it and then she came back and said, here's $250 because you got five out of six. But guess what? That one you changed, you could have had $250,000 had you had not changed that last number. And she cased me out for that mess. She showed it. And Ma, if you're listening, all I have to say to that is you never had to tell me twice. <laughs> So we, you know, we can do it. It does happen. All right. In the folklore, um, in the annals of hoodoo and all that kind of stuff, people say you can use this, this stuff called luck, uh, uh, Aunt Sally's Lucky Dream Oil. Um, and you can use that to get dreams of numbers. Um, I've tried the oil. It has not worked for me in that way. Okay. It's worked for me in different ways, you know, not to see numbers, but to see other things. But, you know, you never know. And a lot of folks like to use that in conjunction with dream books. And this is where if you dream about something, anything, there are numbers associated with that thing. Okay. Uh, so if you dream uh, uh, about like, let's see, the other night I dreamt about, I dreamt about an alien spaceship, <laughs> a UFO. So I can look in the dream book and look up UFO and see what numbers are associated three digit number four digit number I can see what numbers are associated with UFO and then I play you know the pick three or pick four for that day or for that week you know and see what happens and and now that I think about that that's probably not a bad idea I should probably do that yeah anyway Kansas City Kitty is the one my mom used to always use that's the one I grew up seeing around the house Kansas City Kitty dream book so that's that one I can recommend um there are others out there um, you know, feel free to peruse them next time you're in a store that caters to these kinds of things. All right. So I think I have covered everything that I want to say about prosperity and money drawing and, um, the ancestors and how our blessings are their blessings. And particularly the ancestors who may not have had such blessings in their lives, please recognize that when you are blessed with prosperity, you're blessing those too. Okay. You're giving them an opportunity to live that type of prosperity through you. Okay. Um, one more thing before I close, um, like I said, I keep an ancestral shrine to my immediate ancestors. Um, I have a different one that I keep for my distant ancestors, the ones across the waters, across space and time. Okay. Uh, both of those um, are keep items that relay, uh, relate to prosperity. Um, on my immediate ancestor shrine, I have a lamp. Okay. Um, I use candles on that one, but I like using an oil lamp. Um, mostly that, that, you know, pretty much stays burning and inside of that lamp and the bottom part where you pour the oil, um, inside of there is a small lodestone that was fed with iron fillings or magnetic sand. Um, there are coins in there, um, bow dollars, uh, that represent each one of the members of my family. Um, there's a few drops of money drawing oil in there. Um, there is a piece of, uh, there is a whole bay leaf in there for protection. There is a piece of dragon blood, dragon's blood rests and also there for protection. 
okay? That's just overall protection, but it includes financial protection as well, okay? Um, there's a nutmeg berry in there, whole nutmeg, okay? And that's also for financial uh, prosperity. And there's some other things in there that I don't wish to disclose here um, that are proprietary and personal and private, but you get the gist, right? So whenever that oil lamp is burned, it's burned for everything that we have keyed it to be burnt for in honor of our ancestors. The flame itself honors our ancestors. It gives them light to shine upon their paths, to make their way to us in our lives here. Now, on my distant ancestral altar, I have things that represent uh, abundance there. And it's basically a small um, uh, thing of cowrie shells because our ancestors used that as a monetary device, okay, as currency, if you will. And I also have, um, you know, some other little things up there that represent wealth, you know, um, in terms of their culture, all right, um, and my ancestral culture. So keep those things in mind um, as you go forward and doing your spiritual work for prosperity and abundance. And don't sleep on the idea of extending this to your family members, whether they be, you know, co-inhabitants in, in your, you know, uh, home or if they're distant. If these are your spiritual kinfolk, you're not even blood related, include them in your work, Okay. And you do things together, all right, so that everybody, you know, can lend their energy to our, you know, situation, to your situations in that fashion. Um, I guess that's about it for us today. Thank you so much for listening. Um, it was really nice to take a break from the other stuff I've been talking about, because, yeah, you know, it's, it's, it's gut wrenching. It's hard to talk about. It's emotional, um, and all of that. So, you know, I hope you found this episode just as refreshing as I did. Um, keep me posted on the things that I talk about, you know, let me know your thoughts. Um, if you do any of my suggestions that I talk about, keep me posted on what you're doing. If you have questions, feel free to contact me. Um, through any of my social media, um, which are listed on the speaker um, page for this episode. Um, you can also send me an email, contact at mamaru.com. That's M-A-M-A-R-U-E dot com. Okay. Contact, C-O-N-T-A-C-T at mamaru.com. Send me an email with your questions. I love hearing hearing from all of you, and I hope that my responses do help. So, wishing you all peace, love, and powerful juju, and in particular, powerful money juju. Let's all go get blessed today, because it's Money Monday. Let's get it. Bye, everybody. Until next time.